filled up some water. The updates for today. Worked all day. Water. Cleaned the van. And now I'm gonna go make a resume because <laughs> you need one of those to apply to jobs that you didn't want to get hired to. Tomorrow, my best friend is coming. Her name is Jillian Clausen. She has a YouTube channel. You should definitely check her out. Her name is Juicy J. She likes art and succulents. Go check her out. I'm on my way to Julian's! Insane traffic right now. This is why I don't live in the city. In a quarter mile, keep right at the fork to stay on I-24 West. Follow signs for Clarksville, Louisville, I-65 North. I love your garden. I love it too. Rosemary, there's some tomatoes. But the squash just took over and I didn't even plant it. Oh, oh. there's your flower. I didn't plant this either, tomato. Wow! Look at this sunflower! Oh yeah, and that popped up. I didn't plant oh. that this year either. I love sunflowers, my favorite, because they're so big. Yeah. <laughs> I have my friend <laughs> here with me in the state that I live in. We lived in Minnesota together for a long time. And I moved away and I got yeah. really um, friend sick because I, I have zero of them here. Yeah. That makes me insecure. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, everyone has insecurities. It's I true. would just like to express some of mine. So many girls think that that they're alone in the world because they think that they, they you know, they can't get over the things that they're insecure about. Have when, you seen the show Botched? No. Explain what it is. Like people wanting plastic surgery and they keep going. People want to look like Barbies. I'm because of their insecurities. Right. And they feel like they need to... But they see a Barbie and they're like, damn, I want to be. People start talking about insecurities, you realize that you can relate. And, Hashtag relatable. And, and for mm. instance, I am insecure about everything. My whole being. Being. I, I mean, being. <laughs> what a clever queen bee. We all <laughs> Michael. Beyonce. Yeah. You just That's gave birth to this pillow. <laughs> no, the two little bees. In her behind. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> when do you think you started becoming insecure? I remember a specific time, one time when I was trying on pants with my grandma. <laughs> Fun fact, my grandma and I have the same size pants. It's actually really convenient. Listen. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I was in third grade. She was helping me pick out school clothes and I tried on these pair of pants she said something like would fit you better if you were a little thinner or something and that's the first time I remember like feeling like I needed to work on my weight what does that sound okay sorry I interrupted you at, at a moment at the moment <laughs> at the moment after that I just was constantly comparing myself to others, and ever since then, weight has always been an insecurity of mine. I guess I didn't really realize that I was really skinny in high school until like mm -hmm. looking back. Mm -hmm. But I can never fit into jeans because they're like always mm -hmm. capris on me. Being tall, I guess, was an insecurity because I was taller than all the boys. <sighs> I'm really tired. I yeah. am too. Oh, that was a fail. No. <gasps> Um, okay. I hurt my jaw. Oh, there you go. What um, is that noise? I have no idea. I thought she said that the, like there were loud frogs and crickets at night. That's not a Is frog. that them? <laughs> Another reason why I feel like insecurities are such a toxic thing mm -hmm. in society is because some girls 
will tell me their insecurities and I'll be like, bro, I never noticed that about you. Yeah. Or like, that's something that you should embrace. Like, some people's hair, I'm just like, I want that so much. And then they'll be like, no, I, I don't like it. Always want what you don't have and you need to like step back and appreciate like what you do yeah. have and who you are. Like when I was younger, I was so embarrassed to have freckles. I When I discovered makeup, I was like, this is a miracle. Covered my face from the time I was in junior high, like eighth grade, and mm -hmm. all present. My I embrace the my freckles. freckles. It's not so much that I don't like my freckles now, mm -hmm. as it is that I have like acne. And my complexion, I guess. I but. am too, because I get like really red. Yeah, my cheeks too. too. When I get embarrassed. Or, or like even working out too. Like for me, yeah. if I'm like playing tennis, like my face, I just know it gets really hot mm -hmm. and like red. I hear though, if your face is really red when you're working out or something, you have a good heart. Our hearts are the size of mountains. They're beautiful and bulging. The shape of my eyes is also one. Because when I was little, people always mistook me for an Asian. <laughs> it's true. Everyone oh. thought I was Asian and it made me so insecure and I never wanted to smile because oh. then they would squint. Now I like the shape of my eyes. I think that they're unevenly shaped though, which I, I'm still insecure about, but I like that they're kind of like unique. Can you tell? Not really. Acne is another. I remember crying so often because of my acne. Not only did it look atrocious, but it also hurt. The pain would re re remind me that I had a face full of acne, and it was just like this constant thing that I was always aware of. Yeah. And I never felt good about like having people look at my face. But acne was one of the worst things. The worst thing was my weight, because like every little girl is like concerned about their weight, and like they're always shown media's perception of what beauty is and it's never healthy. Maybe my hair. I never really liked my hair because I never thought it was voluminous enough. Oh honey. Now! Uh -huh. But in high school it was super flat and I always teased it but I would straighten it and that would make it flat and yeah. I just, I guess I didn't know how to like. You figured it out though. Yeah. I didn't discover foundation until after high school. Really? Yeah. I don't need foundation. Your face is already perfect. No, because my face is red. I haven't slept without makeup for almost like a year. That's really bad. It's not his fault, it's mine because I'm so like insecure what my face looks like bare. Like I look like a little boy. Not like a full face, but I remember like from the first time we started dating until about six months afterwards, I did wear a full face yeah. and makeup to bed. And that made my acne so bad. And then I was like, I can't do this anymore because my face is getting worse and worse. There's and worse. no yeah way for it to breathe. It can't breathe and it's like clogging everything. Started taking just my foundation off and wearing like eyes mm -hmm. to bed, which I still do. I've gotten a lot better about wearing a lot less makeup around the milk. Even in public, like I would never go out in public without makeup on my whole face. Mm -hmm. But I can, I can like wear barely any mascara and then do my eyebrows and then that's it like it, I yeah. have such mixed feelings about my boobs I mean me too you know that magic bra thing the strapless thing and then you just like stick it on and then you like tie it and you like tighten it yeah. and it's supposed to like no yeah I think it wouldn't for me <laughs> it would bring everything in the middle and it would still be small <laughs> should I invest what's the return policy for mine, never really like wanted my boobs to be that big. Sometimes I feel like they're really small, and then sometimes I feel like they're really too big. And it's based on a a daily like um, observation. Yeah, I I can never. I <laughs> no, I totally make yeah. A decision on whether or not I like them. Mm. What else? What else? That should be it. That's all the insecurities we have for today. Oh, there's plenty more, but. 
It was nice chatting about our our, our insecurities together, Jillian. I was. I'm, I'm glad all oh, your feet are so cute. All you have to do is tell people that gives them compliments that boosts their self-esteem. Realize that your insecurities are other people's insecurities too, and a lot of most of uh, 90 probably percent of the time. <laughs> what? This is the time that I throw my percentages and sound scientific. You think that what I said was accurate? 90 probably percent. 90 probably. <laughs> of the time, you know, <laughs> people probably don't notice any of the things that you're insecure about or have any slightest care about it or um, even <laughs> think that it is a um, a beneficial feature to your appearance. So, don't worry, guys. Everyone has insecurities. Oh, by the way, she has a YouTube channel too, Juicy J. I already actually mentioned it before. I do. I haven't vlogged in a while, though. But that's okay because um, consistency doesn't matter. Just kidding. You need to upload more. Oh. Jillian, get with it. It's Juicy J. I thought that was a rapper. It is, but this is J-A-Y. He's just the J. I'm more than that. Let's go to bed. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video. <laughs> and like it over. I'll see you next time along Mwah. with my... Along with your what? <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. People don't even really see them unless I like shove it in their face. Which why would I do that? It's my foot. The scientific word for feet. The answer is pes. Oh, like pedicure. <laughs> pes. No, but like P E. Like pes. pes. Pa pa like pediatrician. Like foot doctor. Well, I don't want people touching my pes. Like, um, well, remember when your hair was purple? Did that go down your shirt? Little Colonel. Ed wants to party. <laughs> you insecure about your butt? Um, I've gotten so many compliments on my butt that I feel really like I shouldn't. From who? From who? Multiple a person. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that'll be the uh, an, an, uh, words. words because I'm a healthy little child now. Salt is the devil's sugar. Um. You hear that, devil? <laughs> <laughs>